I'm a sophomore in high school, and I'm study. I'm upstairs on the back porch. On the we have a bedroom that we call the upstairs back porch, and uh, I'm up there studying for uh, a test that I'm going to have Monday when I get back in high school. And I'm listening of all things you may not have ever heard of it to the Lucky Strike Hit Parade. Have you ever heard of that? Never. Never, never heard of that my entire Jenny, life. Jenny, have you ever heard about it? I've heard about it. Okay. okay. It tells your age, Jenny. <laughs> history. The Lucky Strike Hit Parade, yeah. every Saturday night on radio, no television, mm-hmm. on radio played the top 10 most popular songs in America. And they would roll the drums. Number 10, da 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 da. Then they'd play it for th- two and a half minutes of record. Yeah. Number seven, they'd play another one. And I'm sitting there listening to the Lucky Strike Hit the cigarettes. I'm listening to the Lucky Strike Hit Parade. I'm studying for a test. Number one, most popular song in the nation. Most number one, most popular song in the world. Yeah is Oklahoma, and they play, and I stopped, and I said, my gosh, they're singing a song, they're playing a song about my state, Oklahoma, and it's the most popular song in the nation, Lucky Strike Hit Parade, and the most popular song in the world. Yeah. 1943, 1953, 10 years later, I'm in the legislature, and I introduced the bill to change our state song from the original state song to Oklahoma. And I thought as all those years then, in 1953, I had I'd introduced this song as a young, this young state legislature from McAllister. And uh, I thought it'd be a piece of cake. And old man Huff, as we called him, old man Huff, he must've been 60. <laughs> in those days, he was old to me. Old man Huff, a po- from Ada, yeah. a post changing the state song. And he spoke on the floor of the legislature from the microphone down front. And I saw him convincing, I could tell by looking at the legislators, that he was convincing them to vote against changing from a state quote, unquote, I can remember what he said, a song steeped in tradition and couched in history, written by a, a, a an Oklahoma lady, historian, mm-hmm. and it's called uh, Oklahoma a Toast, and you want to change it from a song written by a historian from who was from Oklahoma to a song written by two New York Jews? who've never even been to Oklahoma? And I just saw, and he started speaking, I mean, continued speaking, but he started singing the original state song. And he left the microphone, and he walked on the floor of the House of Representatives, 1953, and he'd get a hold of your shoulder, your arm, and pull you up, and make you stand for the state song. And he sang I and he sang it. Yeah. I give you a land of sun and flowers and summer the whole that's our state song. Yeah. And then he got to the chorus and he started crying. He started crying as he was getting and he got the whole House of Representatives standing, and a few of them knew the song, not many. <laughs> But they got to the Oklahoma, Oklahoma, fairest daughter of the West, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. It's the land I love the best. I have always sung her praises, but I have not told the half. So I give you Oklahoma. It's a toast we all can quaff. I said, quaff? That's quaff, but it's quaff, so it rhymes. And I said, he wants a song that you can quaff, but he doesn't want a song written by two New York Jews. So I saw my bill going down the, but in the small print, 
you can lay a bill over yeah. for a legislative day. So I turned and said, Mr. Speaker, I moved that House bill, whatever it was, 1014, whatever, I moved that House bill lay over for one legislative day. And old man Huff didn't know what I was doing, so he didn't object. If he had objected, we would have never changed the state song. Yeah. But I laid it over one legislative day. And I, I motioned to Ira Humphreys, who was state representative from Chickasha, where then the Oklahoma College for Women was. And I said, have you got a choir down at, a course, choral group down at Chickasha that can sing Oklahoma? I said, we just did that production. I said, okay, I need them here tomorrow in their costumes. And I want them to sing all the songs, some of the songs from Oklahoma, and end with Oklahoma. Then I called Ridge Bond. Now, Ridge Bond helped me because Ridge Bond lived in Tulsa. But now the play was written by two New York Jews, but Ridge Bond, who currently lived in Tulsa, was the only Oklahoman who ever starred on Broadway as Curly. Mm -hmm. And he not only was from Oklahoma, he was from McAllister High School and had gone to high school with me. Yeah. So I called Ridge. I said, Ridge, you still got some of that stuff, you that crap you wore? That's what I would use. You still got some of that crap you wore when you were playing? Yeah, he said, yeah. I said, okay, put it on. Come over here tomorrow. You're going to sing Oklahoma to the House of Representatives with a, with a choral group from Chickasha. He said, when do we practice? I said, there is no practice. You just go in and sing with them. Yeah. Okay, now I got to tell you the story that shows I'm a politician. <laughs> now, I'm telling you the story of Oklahoma because that's public service. Yes. But to show you I'm a politician, I called Jenkins Music Store mm -hmm. in downtown Oklahoma City. I said, this is State Representative George Nye. Have you got any legislative bill on, under consideration you want passed? And, and the, guy, the manager said, yes, we do, matter of fact. I said, okay, I need a piano tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he said, what? I said, I need a piano on the floor of the House of Representatives tomorrow and send me the, the number of your bill. Yeah. And the next day there was a piano from Jenkins Music Store. And I'm, I think I voted, I know I did, I voted for the bill that they were interested in. Yeah. But the piano was there. And I got up and I said, Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that we allow the choral group from the Oklahoma College for Women to come on the floor of the House of Representatives and entertain us. Mm -hmm. Nobody objected. Nobody knew what I was doing. Yeah. And the choral group came in and they sang, oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, you know, oh you're singing all the songs and... Da, 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 da. And, and then suddenly, the girl on the piano from Jenkins Music Store went boom, 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 boom. And Rich Bond had been hiding in his costume in the house men's restroom, yeah. kicked the doors open to the floor of the legislature, had his two thumbs in his belt buckle with a big Oklahoma belt buckle and said, oh, Oklahoma. Where? And he started singing and the legislature stood and started applauding. There were 300 people in the gallery and they stood and sang and I put them all up there. I went around and got all the, the, the secretaries and the employees and the pageants and the sergeant at arms and had them sitting in the gallery and said, now when they sing Oklahoma, you stand and applaud and sing. And so in comes Rich, he starts singing, the choir singing, the legislature stands and sings, and they're all applauding, and they say, you're doing fine, Oklahoma, Oklahoma, okay, L-A-H-O-M-A, Oklahoma, okay, yeah. I said, Mr. Speaker, I moved passage of House Bill 1014, and it passed. Yeah. 